What's up everybody, welcome back to the channel. Welcome to another Pokemon Sword and Shield VGC 2021 Series 10 video. Now, this is a team that I have not tested at all. There we go. Uh, <laughs> I didn't have any clue as to what I wanted to record today, and then I just sat down, I scrolled through a list of Pokemon I wanted to try out, and I looked at Phalanx, and Phalanx is by far one of my favorite Pokemon from Generation 8, and if you don't think this thing's adorable, you got some issues you need to sort out, but I decided that now that Dynamax is gone, it might be a point where Phalanx could find some semblance of viability, and it's going to be on this Caloric Shadow team, and I'll get into what it does in a minute, but before we start, I want you guys to do me a favor. If you enjoy this standpoint in time, do me a favor, leave a like in the video, subscribe to the channel, turn on notifications, because I bring you daily Pokemon Sword and Shield content, and answer my comment question of the day, what is your favorite fighting type in all of Pokemon? There are a lot of good ones, Phalanx is probably my favorite. So, what does Phalanx do? Well, on Calyrex Shadow teams, typically they tend to have a Mian Xiao because Mian Xiao cannot be faked out or intimidated, and it actually allows them to better deal with opposing Incineroar. My idea was, why why would I have Mian Xiao when I could lead off Indeedee Phalanx, baiting the Incineroar lead, and then getting a free follow me into a no retreat, getting plus one from Defiant and plus one in all my stats from no retreat, and then just hitting everything with close combat. The speed tier on this thing is garbage. If it had like 80, 85 speed, it'd be a lot better, but <laughs> we're at a speed tier where at plus one, we outspeed like Whimsicott and stuff, um, but we would need to Electroweb something like opposing Calyrex Shadow or opposing Zacian after we already have our no retreat up in order to actually outspeed and KO them. Luckily though, at plus one, we are able to live a Behemoth Blade from opposing Zacian, which is pretty nice. Uh, I actually don't know how well we take the hit from Calyrex Shadow. We'll cross that bridge when we get there, but yeah, the rest of the team is pretty standard. Uh, we have Regieleki with a Magnet, Focus Sash, Indeedee, you know, Life Orb, Calyrex Shadow, Safety Goggles, Stack Attack, and Cinnaroar. But yeah, I have not tested this team at all. We're on the ult, and we're going to see what we can do. This is actually going to be really bad, but I want to see what we can do with Phalanx. I love this Pokemon, and I'm ready to, I'm ready to give it a go. Okay, so we actually face off against um, an Necrozma Dusk main team. They do have an Incineroar, which I can actually take advantage of that. I'm going to lead off with Calyrex Shadow and Phalanx. Because I might be able to get the um, the jump on them with this. I definitely want my own Incineroar. It's going to be very useful. And I think my last Mon, Safety Goggle Stack Attack, it looks phenomenal in this matchup. I just have to be very careful with that Arachnid. But I should outspeed it under Trick Room and KO. So I'm going to go with that. So they go Arachnid, Malamar. That's fine by me. Um, they're probably just going to Wide Guard Trick Room. So, dang, it's times like this I actually wish I had like... Um, I actually wish I had like um, first impression on this guy. However, it's not really too big of an issue. I can close combat and shadow ball the Malamar and that should deal enough. I'm assuming they're gonna wide guard here. As they do go for the wide guard, this should be more than enough. Let's go ahead and get our first KO with Phalanx. There we go, bada bing, bada boom. Phalanx does something. He did something. Good job, my sons. One, two, three, four, five, six. All six of you, you did phenomenal. I didn't bring an Intimidator, or I didn't bring a, a Fake Out Stopper, so that's going to be kind of annoying. Um, and I also don't take this hit from Araquanid. I could attempt to take the hit by Intimidating it back. What if I no retreated here? What if I just flex? I'm going to do it. Come on, Phalanx, you got this. Is they Flare Blitz. Do I live? Probably not. Yeah, Phalanx does not live. That's fine, though. Um, so I can go into my stack attack here. I'm actually going to Trick Room now. I actually very much like the Trick Room play. Oh, I should have just close combated. I might have thrown there. I might have thrown there by doing that. Or I could just fake out Rock Slide, and that's probably better. Oh, yeah, he recognizes me. <laughs> Hello. Dang, I didn't expect him to double. I thought he'd fake out. Maybe he expected the... um the Indeedee, but I just don't have that. I didn't bring it to this matchup. That actually would have made my play a lot easier to make because then I could have just taken the Incineroar away. I definitely should have just close combated. That was pretty much free. I got a little greedy. I thought maybe I could take the hit, but the double is, is what got me there. Just notice before the channel. Keep it up. Thank you so much. 
and now I turn on the timer on you. <laughs> just kidding. No, I, I feel bad turning on the timer on people because um, like it just feels rude. But also like I'm recording a video. But uh, thank you so much, Mir B. I appreciate you. Let's see what I can do. I'm hoping to catch them. Yep, there we go. This should do it. I hope. And I miss. And I miss. Okay. Um, let me parting shot this Araquanid and go hard into Calyrex Shadow. And also parting shot Necrozma. That might be more worth my time. Yeah, I'll do that. So they wide guard. Makes sense. Let's see if they trick room. I don't think they should trick room ever. They do trick room. Uh, fine by me. Fine by me. What I can actually do here is trick room back and protect or just get in my incineroar. I think I'll just do that. Because they should just wide guard here. Ooh. You know, kind of a risky play, but I respect it. I really didn't expect them not to wide guard there considering they were going into incineroar anyways. Um... I'm going to go ahead and get in my Calyrex and parting shot this Araquanid. They should fake out the Calyrex slot. As they fake out the Incineroar. Liquidation, I live that. And uh, now I have to be very careful. I have to be very careful. I think on this turn, they should know I never Astral Barrage. But I'm gonna. But I'm gonna. And I'm going to parting shot this thing. I don't think they're, oh, they did wide guard. Dang it, dang it. Okay, I'm gonna get an 8-8 on. I think I lose. Okay, I did keep my Calyrex, which is nice, because next turn I can Shadow Ball. I'm gonna do it again. Actually, mm, Shadow Ball does more. Eh, we'll Astro Barrage Rock Slide. I'm gonna try to play into his expectations here. Because he knows I have Shadow Ball. He's still wide guards. Dang. I'm so surprised he's still doing that. Alright. Um, I would have to crit here to win, so I'm going to Flare Blitz Rock Slide. I'm really shocked that he's still wide guarded on that. I guess it's mostly for the Araquanid, but it's whatever. Ah, oh, this would have been so much easier if I just close combated like five turns ago. All right, there we go. We get a rock slide off. It's not going to do too much. You weakness policy? I do get a crit. Because they're figgy. Call me crazy, but I think I prefer the weakness policy. All right, yeah. I can't win. GG. Not going to win that. Well played. Ah, dang. So many turns I could have won. Like, I just threw so hard there. All right. Uh, as we face a pretty interesting team, I'm not sure what's going on here. A lot of things that are very surprising. I should be able to, like, they don't have any Defiant Mons or anything to stave off my Fake Out. Especially if you're leading, if, if you lead off, like, Whimsicott plus Lando, I'm just going to Fake Out the Lando. Like, that's a very easy decision. Um, Porygon could be kind of annoying for Calyrex, especially since it should be able to... Um, it should be able to, what is it called? Eerie Impulse me. So I think what I want to do is lead off. I think I'll go Calyrex and Cinnamon. I think that's fine. Uh, I don't see too much reason to bring Phalanx beyond not wanting to lose to this thing. But I think I'm fine just leaving it at home for this game. I mean, I, I could make a case for it. Like if I really close, if I like squinted my eyes and tilted my head just the right way, I could convince myself to bring it. But I think indeed he's better. All right, yeah. Um, he has like no reason to stay in here, and I also have no reason not to Astro Barrage. Let's see, protects. Let's see if I win the speed tie. As he decides not to go for the speed tie, I'll go ahead and I'll snarl here and get in my Indeedee since he should Astro Barrage himself. And this should allow me to take, like, no damage. One would assume he just stays in and attacks. Astro Barrage, please. 
Substitute, that's fine. Uh, I don't care. I'll helping hand this next one and knock you out. I will straight up helping hand this next one and knock you out. Uh, or actually, do I even need a helping hand it? How much did I do? 25%? Oh no, 40%. I don't even need a helping hand it. I can just expanding force. I'll snarl expanding force. Lando's not going to like this turn. Nice little crit there. Nice little crit. Uh, I should just be able to... Yeah, no, they're going to forfeit there. <laughs> you do not substitute in front of an Incineroar. That's just irresponsible. You also don't try to get greedy in front of it and go for a no retreat. But that's beyond the point. That's, that's besides the point. Anyways, I'm going to lead off Phalanx this game. I'm going to lead off uh, Phalanx and Didi. Should always let me have terrain, uh, terrain dominance, since their only terrain setter is Tapu Bulu, or Tapu Frillaboom, we'll call him that. Uh, definitely want to bring my Incineroar and my Calyrex to this game. And I might be able to pull something off that's a little saucy. Little saucy. As they lead off with Incineroar or Suicune, which is awesome for me. Uh, I should be able to no retreat up and kind of want to get in my, or I could also just close combat this Incineroar right now and get like a free KO, but no retreat doesn't seem awful either. Or hear me out, hear me out. I don't know if this KOs though. I'm kind of tempted to helping hand a close combat into Suicune. Let me, let me see how much this does. Just go with like Picolytic set, whatever that is, whatever. Um, that's plus one, helping hand. Where is it? Helping hand, helping hand, helping hand. It's a roll. It depends how they built this thing. I'm gonna say no retreat's fine. And I'll get in my own Incineroar next turn. I think this turn I'm just gonna go ahead and expanding force for damage. If they Scald the Indeedee. Flare Blitzing and Didi. I'm sorry, sir. I do not agree with that play at all. Mainly because you just gave up. You just gave up Tailwind, like just straight up. Um, how much does plus two do? Plus two does less, right? So I still have to Helping Hand. Yeah. If I Helping Hand this one, it goes down though. As they go Rillaboom. Yeah, I'm going to take that Suicune from you now. Goodbye, Tailwind. Awesome. Awesome. And I still tank a hit from this Rillaboom, which is nice. So they go into Zacian Crowned. I mean, I'll go ahead and I'll close combat this. And go into my Incineroar. I eat this hit at minus one, so. As it looks like they might just hand over their Zacian. And I'm faster. You're running Adamant Zacian? What? I, I don't agree with that, sir. I don't agree with that. Um, yeah, no. Uh, I'm going to take the Zacian from them. There's no reason to close combat now. Uh, Ironhead would do just fine, you know. Uh, I could also predict a protect here. I think I can predict the protect. Like, they have really no way of dealing with me. Yeah, no, get out of here. Get out of here. This is the game I wanted. They've lost. They've lost because they decided not to run a Jollyization. Or at least not a not a fast one. Looks like they're leaning towards the bulky end because I don't outspeed this thing at plus one. Yeah, 186. Yeah, even if I max that out, by the way, even if I were to max out this thing's, what is it? It's 28. If I were to go like Jolly, just so you know, I don't outspeed. It doesn't even come close. Um, yeah, what was that? That was 28. Adamant. But I'm, I'm glad that worked out for me. I'm perfectly fine with that outcome there. Ooh, okay. Um, I think here they should always lead off Incineroar. I think I can go Phalanx, Calyrex. In DD and Cinera, but actually no, my stack attack is a lot better. I think I go Phalanx, Calyrex, stack attack, and Cinera, and that's fine. I don't really need the Indeed. Uh, the Calyrex is mo is mainly for the lead because um I want to break a 
I want to break a disguise on this thing if I can. Because that should allow me to go for like Iron Head. Or not Iron. Yeah, I do have Iron Head, right? Yeah. That should allow me to like Iron Head into it for a nice and quick KO. Um. Check this out. Check this out. Check this out. Are they going to Moonblast me? I'd be so upset if they fake out Moonblast. <laughs> I mean, I could also just close combat this thing in Astral Barrage. It's kind of free. Ast close combat Astral Barrage is pretty free. Because they have to choose who they fake out, and neither outcome is really great. Let me also say GLHF. I forgot to do that. Have I been doing that? Oh, no. They just let me have the Incineroar. They just give me the Incineroar. That's awesome. Goodbye. I lose my Phalanx, but I'll take it. I'll take it. Uh, because if they go into Mimikyu here, they just lose as they have Stack Attacka. One would assume here they would Wide Guard, so I'll just Shadow Ball this Tapu Fini and that should KO. As they do Wide Guard, I get the Tapu Fini from them. And I think that's game. Because I always just fake out and uh, expanding force. Just fake out, go before wide guard. I always forget this interaction. I don't think it does. Priority three. Isn't fake out the same? Yeah, so my fake out's gonna go before him. Oh wait, that was gen five. No, that was just the generation it debuted. So my fake out will go before. to get the KO. That's game. Yeah. Uh, I can just Flare Blitz. Astro Barrage. Good game. I always forget that. Like, it's it, they're the same priority, so it's, like, really easy to forget, because sometimes it'll it'll work, sometimes it won't. Alright. So, what if it, what is it? We've lost, like, one game so far. I mean, I'm ready to for my winning streak to end, honestly. I would assume that's Urshifu Water, too. Uh, I really don't see too much reason not to go in DD and, uh, not in DD and Center, in DD Phalanx on this one. Calyrex in the back and, uh, and Cinewer. Ooh, I'll take this lead. I'll take that lead, honestly. Like, that's, that's not that bad. Uh, I can Helping Hand a Throat Chop. Or I could Expanding Force Throat Chop. It depends on what the Sash is on. I think the Sash is going to be on Urshifu for sure. So if I don't need to Helping Hand this, that'd be great. Let's calc for plus defense in DD. Yeah. All right. Um, third chop. Yeah, I have to helping hand, but that should KO. Give me your in DD. Oh, they're Colber. Please don't, don't take my son. Thank you. All right. That's great. That's great. Um, Let's do this. Expanding force. I'm not fast in that thing. I can follow me. Do I just take that from? Ah, that sucks. That really sucks. Um, I'm an expanding force. And assuming I'm going to lose my phalanx anyways. I can just no retreat because I get a lot out of this turn if that works out for me. Oh my god. Oh my- wait. Hold up. Hold up. <laughs> Sir. Sir. Your Urshifu privileges have been revoked. Your Urshifu privileges, 100% revoked. Uh, I can follow me away the Urshifu- or the Incineroar hit. And I can just Iron Head now. There's no reason to close combat. That's fine. That's fine. Because now I actually have a better outcome because I can go for this Astro Barrage and a close combat into the Incineroar. As they send out the NDB, that's fine. That's fine. Actually, maybe it's not. There's one turn left to follow of a uh, Psychic Train. 
is the extra rapid strike. Um, one would assume here they would protect. So I'm going to go into my incinerator and I'm going to throat chop this Indeedee in case they don't protect. But I would assume double protect. Yeah. Here's my fake out. Uh, I'm going to close combat now because it doesn't matter. Because if, uh, if they switch on to anything, it would end up being the Zacian, which I KO. This is going to be a really close end. I think I might have lost by not close combating the Zacian. But if I close combat it, it was gone. Ah, uh, this sucks. I think I take one hit from this thing. So if I can parting shot, that'd be great. Because I can't hard switch and also attempt a close combat. Why are people running slow Zacian today? Why? <laughs> Explain to me the benefit of your adamant Zacians. I shouldn't be out speeding them. What's going on? Right? Am I just doing math wrong? What is it? That's 124. That's 124. Where's my Zacian team? Here, it's just a randomization team. 220. Yeah, I have to... Oh, wait. 124 times 1.5. Yeah, I'm 187. Why am I faster than these Asians? Why am I being faster than these Asians? What? All right, let's do one more. Well, one more for the video. Okay. Um, I actually really like this because I can absolutely nay nay on this, on this thing right here. If I get the lead correct. I'm going to lead off with Phalanx and Phalanx stack attack is actually really gross in this matchup on lead. Incineroar in the back, and I'm kind of tempted to go with my Indeedee. I don't think I really need the Calyrex. Lead Incineroar. Um, might have gotten messed up here. Might have gotten messed up. I could take away this Regieleki from them if I go Indeedee, since the Sash should be on the Urshfield like every time. That'll give me my Psychic Seed. Oh, I'm gonna take something from them. Go Incineroar, see what happens. All right, they go Xerneas. Uh, this isn't gonna do that much, but it's still a decent chunk. How much does my Helping Handed Iron Head do here? Neutral, helping hand. Ooh. Ah, it's not enough to KO. I mean, I could get rid of this Urshifu. Yeah, I'm going to go for Urshifu. Because they're going to Geomancy regardless. Let's see who they let me keep. All right, that's fine. Let me think. I should be able to get off a Trick Room here. If I do this. I think at minus one I can actually take this. Because they should Moonblast. And close combat. So I might be able to do something here if I get the Trick Room off. If I lose, I lose. It's whatever. They degleam. Oh, I'm not living that now. As they surging strikes, I thought they would close combat. That's fine. I end up losing, but it's it's whatever. It's whatever. I think we still did pretty good with this team for a first time, or for like me trying it out. I I have not played any games that weren't on camera with this team, but yeah. Um, granted, for some reason we faced Slowization today, which is interesting, but still, I, I thought it was a fun little experiment here trying out Phalanx over Mianxiao. Anyways, if you guys enjoyed this video at any point in time, do me a favor, leave a like on it, subscribe to the channel, turn on notifications, and I will see you guys in the next one. Bye.